Hey everybody and welcome to Project Buff. No? Okay. What's going on everybody? My name is Nick Bunyan. This is Project Whoop and you guys are whoopsies. In case you don't know much about me, I lost about 20 pounds and I also decided to work out a little bit. I've turned the corner of my bedroom into a little workout area. My wife absolutely loves this redesign of our bedroom. <laughs> Right off the bat, before we get into the video, do any of you guys work out on a weekly basis or do you not work out, but you want to start getting to working out? Only reason I'm asking, because if you guys like these type of videos, I can make more of them. But if you guys don't care about it, we'll just go back to reviewing monitors. Anything that I'm going to show you guys today is my own opinion and nothing is sponsored. I bought all three different things from Amazon. I'm going to be returning two of them and I'll tell you guys why. And side note, everything that I'm saying is for my workout, which is lighter weight and more repetition because I'm trying to get strength and stamina. My goal is not to get super buff and super jacked and stuff like that. I just want to be a little healthier and have a little bit more energy. So let me introduce you to the three different products that I have here. This is a 32 pound set that I bought with the stand and it's $42. Then I upgraded to the 10 pounds from the same company, which two of them were $29. And more recently, I got the 12 pounds, two of them being $36. These are straight forward and not adjustable so you can work out with three pounds five pounds eight pounds ten or twelve or if you work out with both hands then you would be six ten 16, 20, and 24. In the middle here, we have a set of dumbbells that are adjustable with a plastic case. This cost $50 and they're supposed to be 40 pounds adjustable. And I believe Amazon Basics has the same case, but they say that it's 38 pounds adjustable. And I think the only difference is the barbell on the Amazons are lighter, but these are also a little fishy. In this set, you have four five pounds and for 2.5 pounds, two barbells, one for each hand, and four threaded collars so you can put on the end of the barbells and that way you won't have any weights fall off. You do get a rubber on the threaded collar and a rubber right here on the barbell which is supposed to kind of make it quieter and not have the weights make a lot of noise. These things fall out a lot. I weigh these on a kitchen scale and they are just a little bit over three pounds so let's just round it to three pounds. So if you want to work out with both hands the minimum you can do with these alone is three pounds. You can go up in 2.5 pounds increments and you can go all the way to 18 pounds on both hands. So that's a little weird because 18 pounds and 18 pounds is 36 pounds not 40 pounds that they advertise. If you wanted to go more than 18 pounds, you can take the weights from one dumbbell and put it on the other, the, the bigger weights, and you can go from 18 pounds in 2.5 pound increment all the way to 33 pounds. Last, we have a yes for all adjustable dumbbell set. I believe maximum is 105 pounds and it costs $100. It comes with two barbells and four threads, just like the other one. You have the same rubber on these ones as well, but they kind of fall out a lot. In terms of weights, going from the smallest to biggest, you get four 1.25 pounds. Oh, hey. Uh, I was about to tell you guys that I lost the thread of another one, but I just found it. It was right here. Anyway, 1.25 pounds, you have four of them. 2.5 pounds, you have four of them. And five pounds, you have 16 of them. I weighed this barbell with the th two threads on each side, and they are just under five pounds. So we're going to round it up to five pounds. And if you wanted to work out with both hands, the minimum would be five pounds. Unless you want to hold the weights in your hand, then the minimum is 1.25 pounds. We're here to talk about dumbbells. So if you want to work out with both hands, then the minimum per hand is five pounds, which is just this thing alone. And you can go up in increments of 1.25 pounds all the way to 52.5 per hand. That is a huge range. And if you want to go a little bit extra, you can combine weights from one to the other and you can go all the way from 55 pounds to 65 pounds, but only on one dumbbell. That's the maximum weights that you can put here and still have a little bit of thread so you can put the collar on it. I wouldn't recommend to work out with these without putting the collar on because I mean, man, if they fall on your feet or something, you're screwed. There are different adjustable dumbbell sets which are very expensive, like the Bowflex or Power Blocks. I personally have never 
never tried them. I've never had them in my hand, so I can't really review them. But watching a lot of YouTube videos, everybody is very positive about them, but they cost a lot of money. If I had the money, I would probably go for the Bowflex 552 with the stand, and those are about $440. And if I really had a lot of money, I would go for the Bowflex 1090 with the stand, but that comes at about $740. Most likely, if you have that kind of money, you're not going to be watching the video, but instead, you'd be probably working out with those. So let's overview the three of them and let you know why I'm returning two of them and only keeping one set. We're gonna start with the Amazon Basics. And by the way, it's not just Amazon Basics that makes these kind of dumbbells. I'm gonna call them Amazon Basics so it's easier to figure out which one we're talking about. But there's a lot of companies that do this. They do it in different colors and different weights are different prices. So I actually bought some from Amazon Basics and others from a different company just because they were cheaper. I'm pretty sure they're all made at the same factory. It's just different brands sell them. These ones are high quality. They have a non-slip grip and it's throughout the whole dumbbell. It doesn't have any sharp edges or anything that can be damaging when you put them down. So I would have no problem putting these down on hardwood floor or a rug. They have absolutely no smell. They're clean and you can use them literally anywhere. Gap weights are good quality. They have a regular type of barbell. If you do regular workouts and use them a lot weekly, I definitely would recommend to get some workout gloves because they are gonna peel your skin. The weights themselves have a very nice finish. They are smooth. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. They're not as wide or as smooth as the Amazon Basics, so I wouldn't put them on hardwood floor. I would definitely put them on a rug, no problem, but they come with a case, so you would always put them on the case and the case again you can put it anywhere you don't want to they do have a little bit of a smell like that iron smell but um i think it's more from the the barbells than the actual weights because the weights they don't really smell but this thing kind of smells a bit the smell is a little noticeable but then again you do have a case so when you're done you can just close the case and Finally, we have the Yes For All Dumbbells, and they are good quality, I think, and we'll come back to that in a second. They have the regular barbell, and again, I would recommend gloves if you're gonna work out with them weekly. The weights are pretty rough. They're kind of sharp. I would definitely not put them on hardwood floor or carpet, and it's not because of the actual shape and roughness of them, but it's because of the smell. Personally, I think they were designed for a garage or for a gym. The smell is very strong. If I were to keep those, I would move all this somewhere outside or in a garage or somewhere. I would not be able to work on in the bedroom because they do have a strong iron smell. I did say that they are good quality, I think, and here's why. We went over what you get in the whole package, so just divide it in two and then put one in each package. Even though the contents of the boxes were completely identical, and I think the reason for that is because if you want to order just one dumbbell with all the weights, then you can do that, but I actually got a set because I got two of them. One of the sets is pretty much brand new and looking very nice, but the other set that came in the box, how do I put this nicely? Um, it was scratched. Like, don't get me wrong, everything was in the package, but the weights themselves, they look like they've been used because they were scratched. Some of them looked damaged. The black coating was going off of them and it was actually getting on my hands. Cause just taking them out of the boxes, I my fingers were all black. It doesn't affect the weights and the workouts in any way, shape or form, but I can't help but think that this set was brand new and that set was used for a while, somebody returned it and then they sent it to me. Again, I'm just making an observation. I'm not claiming that. By now, you might notice that I've been kind of complimenting Amazon Basics a little bit more, and that's the reason why I'm gonna be keeping them, because I personally like them a lot better. If I kept any of the other two, I would have to have gloves for working out, but with these ones, absolutely no problem. They have a very good grip, they're non-slip, and I can put them down anywhere and not worry about it because they're just, they have a very nice finish. If you're looking for a beginner set that you wanna work out, and you wanna work out in your house, then I would definitely go for this set, the cap set or Amazon Basics 36 pounds or any of the weights that have that finish on them. If you wanted to go for the most adjustable and the most variety in range, then I would go for the Yes For All because you have a huge range and you can increase it in 1.25 pounds increments. If you just want to work out and you don't need a lot of sets, but you don't want to change them, take them off and put them back, then I would definitely recommend to go for regular dumbbells.
dumbbells. If you want to use them in the house and no iron smell and gym smell, then get one of these things that have this finish on them. If you're really on a budget, just go to Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, whatever you have local and look for some deals because I found some really, really good deals of used sets that were pretty much half the price of brand new ones just because they were owned. The reason why I'm keeping those weights is because of the way I work out. I like to vary in my sets. So let me give you an example. Let's say that I'm doing a set with the Let's say that I'm doing the set with the eight pounds and I do 12 repetitions, right? When I'm done, I take a 60 second break and then I like to go up in weight. So I'll go to the 10 pounds. I'll do 12 repetitions with these and put them down, take a 60 second break. Then I will go up to 12. So then I'll do one more set with 12 pounds, put them down, 60 second break, go to the next exercise. For me, that works perfect. It gives me enough time to rest good to go for the next set. The thing with adjustable weights is, let's say that I'm starting with this 7.5. So I do my 12 repetitions whenever I'm done because I would like to go up in weight, then I would have to take one out. Take the weight off and replace it with another one or just simply add to whatever I got already. Put the color back on. And if I'm doing both hands like I normally do, then I would have to do it three more times. I used each one for more than a week individually. The adjustable sets, because I like to go up in weight after every set, it took me on average one minute and 30 seconds to do each one. For me, that's not the end of the world because I don't have a limited time to work out, so I can spend that extra 30 seconds to get the weights. But what happened, because most of the time you end up keeping the weight in your hand uh, and you try to balance it, as you're taking one weight off. Then you're gonna keep holding it as you put the other weight on. Finish this one, do it three more times. And I was actually more tired after changing the weights than by working out. I know it doesn't make sense, but it was kind of demoralizing. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do as many sets. I'm getting more tired. However, there are people that in between sets, they like to do other exercises. For example, after 12 repetitions biceps, some people would want to get down to push-ups or do squats or whatever it is. If you are after after that intense kind of workout, then this should be no problem. But for me, I like to rest for 60 seconds. There are also other people that like to work out with fixed weights. For example, they'll do both hands, let's say with 10 pounds, and they do three different sets with 10 pounds. And then next week, they'll go to 12 pounds. The week after that, they'll go to 14 pounds. The week after that, you know, so on and so forth. If I were to keep any of these two weights, then that's what I would do. I would have fixed weights for my exercises, for my sets, and then I would just change the weights in between exercises, I don't think that would be a problem, but I definitely like to vary in my weights. For me and my workout, these are perfect for me. I would definitely recommend these to anybody. What I did is I bought the 32 pound set, the three, five, and eight. Uh, I did exercises with those until eight wasn't enough. Then when eight wasn't enough, I got the 10. I did the 10 a few weeks and then I went to the 12. For my next one, I would probably be going to 15 pounds, but I already have 15 pounders because I got them back when I was in high school. Like many, many years ago. Then again, if I didn't have any of those, I would probably go on Craigslist and pick up some weights from Craigslist because they're so much cheaper. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this. God bless your beautiful, beautiful face and your beautiful soul. And I'll see you guys later.